Hello and welcome down onto the tech desk and in today's video I've got two products to show you today both from Skull & Co and they are this one so this is the jump gate dock with core drive and this one is the steam deck dock with core drive pro so this is for everyone who owns a switch and a steam deck or either or now I already have looked at this before the jump gate dock I've already done a video on this so I'm not going to go into too much detail on how the switch works with this but there are some key differences, okay? So if you wanna go and have a look at how it works, how it sits on in there and, and um, testing of it, go and have a look at that video. But first of all, if you have got the original jump gate dock, which I have here, I want you to go and grab it now because there's a couple of differences I want to talk to you about. So essentially, this is that comes in two parts. It comes in with the core drive at the back and it comes in the plastic shell. And you'll see on the website, uh, leave links down below where you can have a look, is you can buy the core drive separately or with the, uh, the kind of plastic shell or you can buy the plastic shell separately. So if you've already got this, the jump gate dock, which from which I did the video on last year, go and get it and pop out the core drive. So these are identical, okay? You can't tell the difference apart from when you ping it open on the left-hand side as you're looking at it from the front, this one has a hole in it here and this one doesn't have a hole in it. Okay, so that's you can tell this is kind of like the, new, the newer version of the plastic. Now, the reason for that is uh, for the Core Drive Pro. Okay, it won't make any difference if you're going for the regular Core Drive. If you go for the regular Core Drive, you're gonna pop that in. Yeah, like that. You're gonna open up the hole. It's gonna be nothing there, okay? I'll talk about why that hole's there for the, the Pro. But if you go and grab this, the other difference is if you spin it this way, you can see, this one has two SD card slots, so regular and micro, and this one doesn't have any SD card slots, okay? And then another difference is if you ping this over here, you have two USBs, HDMI and USB Type-C. Here you have one USB, one HDMI, and one USB Type-C. Now, I'm so sorry, I cannot find them for the life of me because they don't do this anymore. I can't find the spec for this anymore. I don't have the instruction manual for this because it was a long time ago, I got it. I don't know the spec of this, but I know that this will be better. So the USB here is 2.0 and it does max 10 watt power delivery, uh, 48 megabytes per second. The HDMI next to it is up to 1080p at 120, 2K at 60 and 4K at 60. And the USB Type-C here is 3.1 up to 100 watt max. So a decent spec if that's what you want. If that's for you, I'm great, but I can make this better by looking at the Core Drive Pro, which we'll go on to now. So that was the core drive. This is the one you really need to be looking at because this is leaps and bounds ahead of this one. I, I think this is absolutely fantastic as well. So this is the jump gate dock then. This is very similar to this one, but it doesn't have the, the lifting up part. It's a little bit more substantial. There's the hole in the side that we talked about earlier. And we have this front bit here with this lip. Now, the first thing you're gonna ask about the lip as well. No, it doesn't touch the screen when the Steam Deck is on it. There's plenty of room. But even so, there's rubber here on the bottom and there's rubber all the way along here. It feels like a decent piece. So if I just get it weighed, so this is with the core drive in it. Looking at 136 grams, so it's a decent piece. And essentially, it's all plastic apart from the cable and the core drive, which is detachable as well. I'll talk about that in a second, as the same as the other one. As you can see, there's Skull & Co branding on there. And it's a little bit flat. You're thinking, well, my Steam Deck might fall back there. Well, no, because this bit here just pops up and then there's a slot in there. You're gonna pop that in there and then it becomes your dock. And this back piece has a rubber bit along the side there just to keep your Steam Deck nice and protected. And also it has four rubber feet on the bottom just so it gets it stick to the desk. Hey, anyway, while we're in here, let's have a look. There you go, it doesn't touch the screen. That sits there. On the back, it does cover up a few of the vents, but as you can see, it's got holes in it as well, so it just goes through there. So there's no issues of it heating up. And then when your Steam Deck is in there, this cable out of the back is what goes into the top of your Steam Deck. And I assume this is a feature, because this is the way I've been using it. If you look in there, it kind of wraps around. There's a hole that wraps around. So the way I've been doing it is I've been pushing that up and then locking it in. Um, I assume that's a feature. It's very well thought out, very, very well thought out because your cable stays in that position and doesn't start pulling back on the Steam Deck if it's like that, it doesn't want to start pulling. So you put that up, lock it in, 
and then once you've got your steam deck it's the perfect angle for it to pop into the top then when you want to take it out it's just a simple case of taking it out unlocking it and putting it down then once you're finished with that and you want to take it away with you so you pop it in there fold it flat and then you just put the cable out of the way or you can do something else as well so if you spin it over you've got this plate here with this nice branding on the top here you can just slide this off it takes out the core drive as well and you have the cable here so this is just essentially a nicely manufactured USB type C cable that slots in here with where the core drive fits in there so this is just the, the kind of like just a plastic shell really a nice plastic housing and then you do is pop that back in feed that round there and then grab your top bit slide it back on and it clips in nicely so let's talk about the brains of the operation and we're going to talk about this this is the core drive pro this is the best bit about this okay so as i was saying about the choice between these two um you're going to need to be getting this one i think this is far far superior and talk about all your options with your switch and your steam deck in a bit so the two USBs on the end here are USB 3.0, max 10 watt power delivery and five gigabytes per second transfer speed. The HDMI is uh, 1080p, 240, 2K 120, 4K at 60, and the USB type 3.1 there with 100 watts power. So you know you're gonna be able to charge your Steam Deck as fast as possible. And then on the side here, we've got another USB 3.0, and again, 10 watt power delivery, five gigabytes per second transfer speed. The differences between the two core drives, what I'll do is to make it easier and make it more visual, what I'll do is I'll just leave a shot up of the differences between the core drive and the core drive pro and I'll, I'll put them on screen for you now so you can make a quick comparison for yourself. So the question you might have is why would you have this one over say the official Steam Deck dock? The official Steam Deck dock has, uh, has an ethernet port in it. This does not have an ethernet port, so, okay? So you're not gonna have that. I think this is perfect for someone who owns a Switch and a Steam Deck because you can use both, but also someone who wants to go traveling, okay? So just stick this in your bag, it's tiny, take it away with you, plug it in, and away it goes. I don't think this would be good for someone who is in a permanent solution because you might need the ethernet cable in there or if someone who doesn't use ethernet, it would still be good for you. So really, when, we, when I showed you that graphic earlier, it's deciding on which one you would prefer, which one you would need more out of it, just being a switch or with the Steam Deck as well. But the thing is, when you look on the website, you can buy, you can buy this shell separately and this shell separately and these two core drives separately as well. So you might think to yourself, well, I want the pro features of the core drive, but I want this, this shell. And yeah, no problems at all, in completely interchangeable. Okay, so I've got the pro in there in this regular casing. And then similarly, if you've got a Steam Deck, but you don't want the pro versions, you want this one, you can slot it into there. It's all a mix and match, so go and have a look. Similarly, if you have the old Jump and Get Dock, which is the one we did last time, and you're thinking, well, I don't really want to buy another shell, albeit the shells are pretty cheap, they do fit. Okay, so they do fit retroactively fit into there. So if you want to keep this shell, you, you can do. But as I said before, if you're going to get the regular core drive, yeah, it works, no problem, because you haven't got the holes there. If you're going to get the pro uh, core drive and plug it in, you're going to miss out on the USB on the side because it doesn't have an extra hole on the side. So one other benefit of the, the core drive, whether you get the Pro or the, the regular core drive in there, is that it can be taken out and you can be used like independently of this, as we've said, but you can use this on your Mac, your iPad, anything that takes USB Type-C, you can use this as, as a, like an HDMI out with extra USB ports and it can do the charging as well. So you can stick this into your iPad Pro and use it, which I have been doing. If you've got a Switch and a Steam Deck and you want to get this one, you can do. Um, I wouldn't be putting it face down because of the air vents. So you could just pull the core drive out and plug it in. And then you've got it here with the, the HDMI out. And that works just, just as fine, really. And similarly with the, 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 other, the other core drives, kind of like the regular core drive, this will work as uh, extra USBs and HDMIs with the Switch or your PC or your Mac or your iPad or anything like that. So this is my ideal setup then, Steam Deck in, into, into the Skull & Code dock, plug in, this is a, an official Steam Deck charger, 
and there we have it. We have it. We have it charging on there as fast as it can go. So there is going to. It's not going to be able to fast as charge as I've got it plugged in here. This is a really neat solution, especially for someone who wants to take this away with them and just sit in their bag and pop out the steam deck if you're ever going to be going away with someone, pop it in and charge it in. Go and have a look at this. I think this is a really neat solution. You need to weigh up your options of whether you get the official dock with the ethernet, one of these, one of these if you've got a switch, or you've got a steam deck with a switch, and whether or not you want the pro or the normal drive. Go and have a look because you can mix and match with the options as well. Right, so the final thing to do now is just get it connected just to show you. Um, I've got a portable monitor here that has HDMI and that HDMI runs into the back of the dock over here. You're gonna have this a lot neater. I just got this for the purposes of my desk. Um, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need to plug that in. So that's the Steam Deck uh, charger. That needs to have power in there for it to work. So you've got power and HDMI in there. We'll ping the monitor on. And then the final thing to do is, if you see that the Steam Deck is on, it's just get this cable here, plug it into the top. You'll see that LED light's on there. The screen will go off and then it'll come onto this screen there. So we've got this working, no issues. Okay, then if you need to, mouse and keyboard plugged into USB, or as I do, I do use a Bluetooth mouse, mouse and keyboard uh, if you're gonna be using your TV or monitor or whatever. Okay, there we go. Then that was my look at this then, the new jump gate with core drive and the Steam Dock with core drive if you've got any questions do let me know um, i'll leave a link down below where you can get hold of this and i will have a i will have um, a money off code as well as i have with all the skull and co products so go and have a look and that's it then thanks very much then please do like please subscribe to the next video bye bye